It's a partnership that dates back almost two decades. Through a Chinese government concessional loan, Avic Intel has been working with Kenya's National Youth Service to improve the technical labor pool in the country. The partnership also includes equipment supply and maintenance. You know, not only we train their mechanics, and the mechanics here, the number is very limited. Uh, that's the like permanent staff of NS, but also they have casual operators who operate on site. Actually, they sign ca uh, casual contracts like every three months or every half year they rotate. So our engineers has went to their sites in Nairobi, outside Nairobi, in Kisumu, Mombasa, uh, Nakulu, Naimasha, and to train the operators and also the technicians there. Almost 200 of Kenya's National Youth Service recruits here are now graduating with skills in machinery and specialized motor vehicle operation, as well as technical maintenance and service. An estimated 15,000 have benefited from the training so far. Jackson Kahigo, an NYS technician, says he has upgraded his practical skills since joining the program. Initially, uh, the, 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 the old machines, you realize that they are not that computerized, you see. But now we have to get these skills so that we can move with the, this generation of these machines. And that's why we, we had to be given this training so that we can move with the speed and the changing of the technology. More than 150 national infrastructure projects have benefited from the equipment supplied. Projects in areas such as border security, road networks, reservoir construction, slum upgrading, borehole and irrigation works, and emergency rescue. Phase two of the project, which kicked off in 2012, included 289 sets of vehicles and earth-moving equipment. We have done quite a lot of uh, community and national development projects using the equipment and the machineries that were brought by our partners, that's uh, AVIC and the government of uh, China. And uh, I think it has been a, a successful partnership. The firm is also working to equip over 135 technical and vocational institutions in Kenya with machinery in order to revive its manufacturing sector. Its Africa Tech Challenge, dubbed Made in Kenya, also brought together students from Zambia, Uganda, Ghana and Kenya to compete on the latest innovations. We give scholarship to Beihang University, one of the top universities in China. We choose the student of good performance and to like give them scholarship, let them to uh, give them a chance to study in China. The Chinese-funded project not only plans to fully engage in Kenya's infrastructure development, but also train a new generation of students in modern technical skills. Uche Okorongkwo, CGTN.